Early voting is underway. There are a couple multi-million dollar bond packages in Williamson County. Plans include $412 million for road projects and $35 million for park improvements. Campaigns in favor of the bonds got a big boost of support today, but KXAN's Will Dupree also heard from detractors. If the bond elections decided on the number of signs alone, then those pushing people to vote yes are well ahead. However, if the signs are not enough, then the leaders of seven chambers of commerce hope their collective endorsement will help get people to the polls. Proposition A and B will provide a total package of $447 million to fund infrastructure and amenities and parks. And while this is an, a significant investment, uh, it is not expected to uh, raise the county tax rate. The road bond could possibly fund the southeast loop. County leaders would like to create a bypass off U.S. 79 between Hutto and Taylor. In that area, you'll find signs campaigning against the proposal. It's just a, a ground floor movement of, of citizens getting out there and doing it. Dana Bame opposes the bonds, and not just because the southeast loop could cut across her family's farmland. About 75 percent of voters vote yes on bonds, and I don't think people realize that bonds are debt, and that just increases taxes down the way. So at some point, those are coming to come due. Supporters argue the investment is worthwhile to keep up with county growth. This proposal does not increase your county taxes, but it does help us move forward. All the votes will be counted on November 5th. Will Dupree, KXAN News.